Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you the web browser component and using that, we're going to create a mini web browser. So the web browser component is, so let me just drag it on. So if you drag it on, it actually fills the entire window. You might not want that. So to eliminate that, what I would recommend is adding a drop, I mean a group box. If you don't know what a group box is, feel free to check out that video. Once you've taken a look, I'll be waiting right here. Now if you add the web browser to the group box, and if we select the group box and resize it, it resizes the web browser as well. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So let's just sort of, you know, position this right here, like so. And yeah, that's fine. Obviously, you know, minor tweaks like that, you can modify yourself. And let's select the group box in the properties. We say the group box one, we're actually gonna remove that, not have anything there. We don't want any text like that. And if we were to select this, and that's not what I want. We go to properties. From here, the, the if you you know just basic properties we can set, we can set like the you know default URL. So I'm just gonna set it to HTTPS. I'll set it to my website, so phoneasystems.co.uk. Okay, so you know other properties are you know you can change here as well. Let's just leave it as it like uh, like this, and right, see what we get. Okay, so we got our window, we got our web browser, and it has loaded up the website, which is pretty darn cool. But at the moment, there is no way of you know going to another website navigation so if i were to like click that for example it takes us to this but you know how do i go back how do i do any of this stuff you know you can ignore sides and that's you know you can sort that out later on that's not really much of an issue but in terms of being able to do some sort of basic navigation let's add you know a back and forth button so we'll create a couple of buttons right I don't want to add them to the group box. You can add them wherever you want. I'm just going to add them outside like so. So like, I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to duplicate that. That didn't duplicate it. There we go. And I'm going to duplicate it again. Okay, so these buttons will be backward forwards and refresh so i'm just gonna rename them here and say go back i'm also gonna change the actual name that we'll refer to it in in the code for so btn back i'll call this btn forward and i'll change the actual text in there as well to forward so btn forward and this will be go forward Simple stuff. This will be refresh. BTN refresh and refresh. Okay, so what we're gonna say is when the go back is clicked, we select the web browser, which you know just by default is named web browser one, we do dot go back. So there's already these methods, which is really awesome. For go home, I'm gonna leave that as an extra task for you to add that button. So go back and no, that's it. And now if we do the same for go forward, web browser one dot go forward, and let's do it for refresh as well. So web browser one dot refresh. Now if we run it, let it load up. It's loading. And like if I were to click on, if I click on this, it will take us to the Sonar Learning website. Okay, so yeah, carry on, carry on. And now I can click go back, go forward. Yeah. Obviously, certain stuff will not be supported. And like, if I go back, I can click refresh, and it reloads the web page. Okay, so that's pretty darn cool. Now, what we're gonna do is add a label. So if we go to the toolbox, I mean, no label, label a text box, 
and this text box will be the you know you can type a URL and click go so I'm going to create a button as well and I will put the text of go inside of it okay so change the properties for this to go I'm going to change the name to BCM go and I will change these properties to txt url and based on that url what we'll do is when this button is clicked we'll do web browser one dot and to actually go to a you know certain url you go do navigate and in here you specify the actual url so we can just get the url and we'll put it in a separate variable so we'll put dim URL and string and this equals txt URL dot text and in here we'll just put URL now if I run it let it all load up this is loaded up and now let's say if I type in youtube.com click go now YouTube has loaded up Type in google.co.uk and that's loaded up now. And I can click go back and refresh as well. Okay, so that's really cool. Now, what I want you to do as an extra task is this one, this URL text box does not get updated. So if I click on, you know, this video for example. It's still got the old URL, whatever the URL that was last put in here. So it has no updating feature. So I want you to update that so you can get that property from the web browser. And the other thing I want you to do is where else? Maybe look into yeah, the home button, look into doing some sort of bookmark feature, and you know, from there just add other common web browser functionality try and even look at tabs so that's it for this video thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to reach out and i look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial